What's up guys? You have Chris here. So this hybrid rose queen's eating new like spectrum float extra large pellets. I did a 30 gallon water change on this tank. I cleaned the glass. Did a gravel vac of the substrate. I did a different mode on the maxi jets to increase flow. It's about 500 gallons an hour on the maxi jets on each. So a thousand on together. It's been about maybe a month and a half since my last water change. I kind of like to do updates when I get fresh water changes because the fish act happy. So it's like a uh, Aquarium hobby is like 50% water quality and then the other 50% is water or fish nutrition food. So those are the yellow lab cichlids. Basically what I said with all the maintenance every tank had it. This is just 15 gallon water change on these 220 tall tanks. They're eating new like spectrum tiny pellet. I cleaned all the sponge filters in aquarium water. None of them were hooked up, but now they are. So this is a yellow lab cichlid that I rescued out of the other aquarium because he was beat up. But he's just doing just fine. He's eating medium pellet, or she. This had a 15 gallon water change too. Please, come on, So guys. the red devil, parrotfish, and three synodonis catfish, which are cichlids too. This tank, all the tanks had about 30 gallon water change. I put about two tablespoons of aquarium salt in every okay. aquarium. They're eating medium pellet float in my spectrum. I hooked up all the air pumps, all the sponge filters. I'm feeding two, two one fourth teaspoon, teaspoon, one fourth teaspoon of uh, pellets, two feedings, which is an overkill. Just enough nutrition for them. They haven't eaten in two days because I did water changes one day and then the next day I finished them. Synodonis is a very aggressive eaters. That's where most of the food goes. Okay. There's about six or seven fish in this tank, 55. They're African fish. cichlids. They're eating medium pellet. I cleaned the glass with a mag float with polyfill on it. Did a 30 gallon water change. I cleaned the suction cups on the maxi jet so they all stick. And they don't fall off and create a mess. African cichlids love to eat and they love to go to the bathroom, that's for sure. The aquariums weren't too bad with the waste and the substrate, but got it all cleaned up and they're all happy now. Two tablespoons of salt, 10 gallons. There's matrix and mesh bags in the built in the tanks, which is biological media with marine pure. This is Simba, the orange red devil. He's pretty large. He's eating extra large pellets. He had a 30 gallon water change. It wasn't too dirty in the substrate. He, he loves to dig. He loves to eat. I clean the aquarium lids with a razor blade to get it in the 
uh, red or uh, you know just stuff that splashes from the tank on the lid so I get all that calcium deposits off works pretty good this is a hybrid rose queen so same as the other tank fish same type of fish she eats pretty slow but she kind of fin finishes it all which is good doesn't pollute the tank she's eating extra large pellets did a 30 gallon yeah. water change on this tank This fish is the most aggressive in all the fish. When you do maintenance, she likes to attack. So I just fed some seaweed to the queen. She hasn't eaten it in a couple months, so I was pretty excited. I didn't get it on camera, but she's uh, eating another serving of pellets. This is one of my oldest fish that I've owned. It stayed alive. Very large. Great personality. So I'm feeding seaweed to the cyclids. And uh, just kind of break pieces off and put a little Don't go on the pump, in. guys. That's all I ask. Just give them a little extra nutrition. Be quick. I just did a water. It's change. nori, people food, here, sushi food. Over here. But it's the same oh, as San Francisco fine, Bay. Man. Oh, you guys Sally's think I get it, buddy. Pretty much. Come this way. It's 50 sheets, the Good large guys. sheets, so you get your bang for your buck. One over there, you're right. Where is she? Bing. Same thing Come here. Right here. Cichlids are algae right. grazers in the wild, is so she? seaweed's essential for their diet. Just feeding a little piece to the cichlids, the little ones. Nothing special. This tank is pretty dirty pretty fast because the population of fish and the amount of pellets I put in sponge filters weren't hooked up some of them some on this tank there's an intake sponge because they're only getting sucked up but they were even the ones in the other tanks that weren't hooked up they were still dirty So feeding seaweed to the African cichlids, they love it. You can actually put your hand in and just hold the fish and catch them if you wanted to. Very aggressive type of fish. The males like to beat up the females sometimes. There's just two pieces I'm feeding here. Cuts down on aggression with the seaweed. Lower protein. Uh, Simba, seaweed, eating seaweed. Hybrid rose cream, eating seaweed. She enjoys it. So the maxi jets were on air pumps with an airline hooked up to it, a lot of bubbles. I took them off and put the circulation mode on to get agitation more and less bubbles and hook the air pumps up. Seems to do the trick to make fish happy. Instead of a little sponge on the maxi jet with the air pump on this tank, I put a large sponge so it could clean more. And then I added a maxi jet for this guy. But every tank pretty much has agitation by a maxi jet or hang on the back filter 
pretty much the medium that I'm using for my tanks is Marine Pure and a type of coarse and fine mechanical pad to filter out food waste and just polish the tanks water make it clear so all my AquaClear 110s are set up this way there's a pad at the bottom that catches all the gunk and uh, the marine pure stays pretty clean so agitation is good for gas exchange and CO2 removal what the fish gives off Alright guys, hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe, and peace.